embedded c and embedded system interview question and answer part 4 if you want to follow us in any of the social medias you can just uh, click on the link given in the description and you can share if you're not subscribed our channel please do subscribe so first question is what is type def so this is one of the very common question that will be asked in any embedded system interview not only in embedded system if you are going for a uh, automotive interviews you may be either tester or developer so you will definitely meet this question what exactly the type def is that is type definition is the c language provides a very important keyword that is type def for defining a new name for the existing types so already there is a data type has been uh, assigned that you are defining a new name for the existing type so that is exactly is called type def the keyword the type def is a compiler directive mainly used with the user defined data type like structure union or enumeration to reduce the complexity and increase the code readability and portability syntax type def type new type name so what are the name you want to give for the existing type uh, then you can use this as the syntax what is a macro it's simple like uh, you would use or uh, you deal a macro in many places but exactly what is the definition for macro and exactly how you want to tell what is macro yes the answer is macro is a pre-processed directive and it replaces the value before compiling the code so before compiling it will just uh, uh, replace the value for whatever you have initialized so one or one of the major problem with the macro that is there is a no type checking so this will be the other question so what what would be the uh, drawback or the problem that you may deal with the macro that is uh, it will not check the type so that is a uh, type checking is not available with macro so whatever you have given it will just bluntly replace and it will execute generally the macro is used to create the allies in c language macro is also used in a, as a file guard then the syntax is as defined value 10 so that the 10 for the value the 10 will be initialized all right so this is a macro then what is the function so it's a very common question and uh, uh, definitely you'll use the function in any in any program you may not use macro or you may not use type def or struct or any storage classes but definitely you would use function that is uh, you know you'll use the main function right so with that function there will be a no program or no sensible program a function is a group of statements that together perform a task. Every C program has at least one function which is main. And all the most trivial programs can define the additional function. So whatever function you want, you can add. The function declaration tells the compiler about a function name that is return type and parameters. A function definition provides the actual body of the function. Yeah, what is the difference between macro and function? So macro has no type checking that we have seen. Whereas function has a type checking, that is type checking is occurred. Macro is a pre-process, function is a compile. So before compilation, macro has replaced its value. But the function starts to execute whenever the program has been compiled. Code length increases when you call macro multiple times. So if you want to replace the values, you want to give every time you have to give one one value. But whereas function is definitely it reduces the code complexity. So once you define in a in the program you can call anywhere wherever you want and what time whatever time you want to extend it use of macro can lead side effect no side effect because the the reason is again there is no type checking in this and it will just bluntly replace the value whatever you want to give but function has it's a, it's it's more and more sensible and more and more logic has been implemented the function so you will not get any side effect side effect is nothing but the uh, you know the garbage error speed of the execution is faster because it's just replacing but it will take some time because it will call you know uh, the, if you want to use any function declared it will call it from somewhere else so that it will take time to execute when compared to macro generally macro is useful for the small code whereas function is used for the complex code because of because macro is a preprocess so it is difficult to debug the macro easy to debug the function so this is the main difference between macro and function all right so please do like share and subscribe watch this complete playlist for the interview question and answer on embedded c if you're not subscribed our channel 
please do subscribe and follow us in any of these social medias and uh, visit our site for uh, the all the tutorials in the order all right so if you want uh, uh, if you want our videos in order you can also just uh, ping whatsapp so that uh, we'll send you the pdf file which contains all list of uh, you know links has been given so catch you in the next tutorial until then bye